This dedicated to everybody who looked the system in the eyes without flinching. It's elementary. They want to solve on eventually. Just saying it's me to two life plus two centuries. Charge me with felonies and penitentiary. Murder, kidnappings, and other extremities. Measures get drastic if you live with these penalties. Or die as a martyr. See, I was in the yard with a father who was psychologically scarred. I watched you scream to the sky, God. Let your son please see brighter tomorrow. Please free my soul from turmoil and sorrow. Why do you forsake me every time that I call you? I'm staring at him like, dang. But I couldn't blame you for asking. It just so happens, most prayers gotta be followed by action. See, I'm combative when I'm trapped in these contraptions. The mental lashing's more taxing when you pass it. No more excuses and no distractions. See, it was my time to attack this madness and make an impact to attract the masses. Consulted my comrades, gave them shanks and masses. And no procrastinating, we got at it. Came through that door and it happened quick fast. Anything with a badge got put on his ass. Smashed, grabbed, and dragged out of all paths. Towards mental liberation. Oh, what a feeling. I'm hearing voices squealing through the intercoms in the ceiling. Code three, code three. Prisoners took over the building. <laughs> I gave him my demands for hostage negotiating. Plus, I had to address another crisis situation. As young as in the pen, leaving worse than what they came in. Released back to the same streets that I'm on my To do one thing that's per perpetuate the mayhem. They asked me what's the root cause, and I won't say them. See, neurologists, psychologists, they'll follow this. Confinements are designed to trap your mind and rewire it. That's high science. But politicians won't abolish it. Because prisons is profits and they just line in their pockets. It's elementary. They want us all born eventually. Standing in silence upon reflection. Conscious enough to acknowledge that a moment is present. Yet completely unconscious of the magnitude of the seed that's being pollinated within that moment. Leftover residue of the disease of mental colonization that causes hesitation in the face of blatant oppressive acts. Acts that should naturally trigger an immediate violent resistance. That disease pathogen now being uprooted and replaced by the intrinsic purity of a rebellious spirit that provides the soul that nurtures revolutionary growth. Allowing no longer oneself to be a pawn in their game of manipulative complexities in which the enemy state seeks to define repressive legalities cloaked in the guise of morality. Instead, now being fed by the seed of righteous fruit in a revolutionary garden of Eden from the tree that bears enlightenment to the justification of one's violent resistance. A seed of resistance once sold to the masses as sinful and unlawful by false entities claiming to be superior, seeking to hold firmly to their systematic design that causes the economically challenged to worship them, giving birth to and relentlessly perpetuating the phobia of our enlightenment, fear that we may awaken to the infinite elasticity that wraps and attaches us to the umbilical cord of strength of our ancestors, strength, blood so unforgiving, rebellious nature, cries once heard but went unfelt, now reverberating through one's being, screaming out, resist, physically, mentally, emotionally, and violently, resist, not in the name of sacrifice, but born from the truth of the obligation bestowed upon us by those who bear the weight of that obligation before us unflinchingly. I've stood in that silence, upon that reflection, now I'm completely conscious of the magnitude of the seed that was pollinated within that moment, projecting us forward one foot in front of the other on his journey towards the fulfillment of a legacy to be an agent of change and resistance physically, mentally, emotionally, and violently, till we tear down this institutionalized enslavement infrastructure and we all free. Resist, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm always be on until I'm free. That's it.